Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Google Play Weekly. This week, we're going to talk about even more Google apps that got updated, the Xbox One Smart Glass app coming to Android, some Google Play Store updates, and a whole lot more, so let's get started. And our first bit of news this week, the Google Play Store is rolling out some previously announced changes that are directed mostly at tablets. There is now a Design for Tablets section, so tablet users can get the apps they want. Not only are apps now categorized by being designed for tablets, but apps that don't meet the criteria are designated as being designed for phones only. Even though it's a small change, it's going to affect the Play Store in a big way, especially for tablet owners as it'll now be possible to get the best tablet experiences on Android with less searching. The Xbox One was just released and with it came the Xbox One Smart Glass app. Much like the Smart Glass app for the Xbox 360, Android owners can use this app to control the interface on their Xbox One. It has most of the same features as the 360 version of Smart Glass. You can move around the interface, control your media, message friends, and even get game help. It's a free app and you guys know how much we love those. If you're picking up the Xbox One, we highly recommend you pick up the Smart Glass app too. Google Wallet got a pretty big update over the last week, included are a number of new features including the one we've all been waiting for, which is tap to pay using host card emulation. The bad news is the tap and pay feature is only available for devices running KitKat. Along with tap and pay support comes bug fixes, performance improvements, Google Wallet card support, and the ability to take a picture of your card and have it added to your account. While we're on the topic of Google Apps, Google has combined Google Play Magazine and Google Currents into a single application called Google Newsstand. The resulting mashup should take some of the sting out of Google Reader not being around anymore, and it's actually a pretty decent application. We won't talk about it too much here because we did a review of the application. You can find the review on our YouTube channel. So far, people have had mostly good things to say about it. It provides an excellent gap between the hardcore, minimal RSS apps and the beautiful, if somewhat cluttered, RSS apps like Flipboard. Pocket recently updated its app to version 5.0. It was a pretty big update that brought a number of new features and a fully revamped UI. The result is a cleaner, easier to use application. The app was already pretty awesome and it brings a lot of nifty new features like highlights which breaks down your stuff into categories so you can read what you want. We also did a review of this application which you can find on our YouTube channel. So who wants to see some trending applications? As usual, if you want to check any of these out, you can find them in the written companion in the video description. First on our list this week is Todoist. It's already touted as one of the best to-do list apps available for Android today, and a recent update has only made things better. New features include Google Now support, Dash Clock widget support, and Android KitKat support. If you haven't yet, now is the time to check it out. Google Drive was recently updated. Included in the new update is a new light theme, a quick action bar, swipe to refresh, better upload reliability, and more spreadsheet functionality. If you have been bulking on trying Google Drive and this update has some features you've been waiting for, go ahead and give it a shot. Twitter continues to inspire and impress this year as they improve their app yet again. This time around, they added new filters to search, improved trending and discover modes, and a new verification backup method. The app has been improving to battle its third-party competition, and if you haven't checked it out in a while, now's the time to do so. It's not very often that we hear about Google Translate updates because the app is already awesome. However, an update was recently released that does more than just fix bugs or improve performance. There is now a new interface that makes it easier to communicate people while you're out there actually with them, along with some added handwriting and camera functionality. Usually TV provider apps really aren't that good, but they are trying to improve. In a recent update, DirecTV now allows customers to view 30 channels from their mobile devices when they're not at home. These include Showtime, Stars, the Food Network, and a lot more. If you have DirecTV and you don't have this app, you really should. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find the written companion to this video along with our social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.